Uh, Probably more than beer. Al Capone and all this shit. They all hang hung out at this place, and it's totally haunted too. And yeah, that hotel there—that's really wicked, man. (laughs) I want to. I want to. I want to have permission to go down in the freaking tunnels and check it out. Oh man, this would be good. (laughs) If I could, if I could rig this up. I'm trying. I, I keep trying. I'm not gonna give up. Well, there's. We'll have a, a guest on your show, uh, hopefully in January. It's. I can't say yet, but you'll know about it. That I'm gonna be when I go to Florida because I'm gonna go visit John Polk and we're gonna do some things. Uh, I'm gonna visit Tiffany. I'm gonna visit uh, this lady. That's she goes by the name uh, T- Tampa Bay, but and there's another lady that lives in. Um, I can't think of a St. Lu- a St. Petersburg, I believe. I think is there a St. Petersburg in Florida? I think there is St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, anyway, yeah. she's. These are people that I've been following on Twitter for a while that I talk to on direct message. I don't talk openly with them because they're kind of keeping on the down low. But this one lady, and I, I think I told you guys about this before. She's got cameras in her room, and they're like uh, light detection, uh, motion detection cameras. And so when the when the ET come, you know they. They come through the wall, as you know, just like Adam was talking about. This is that is absolutely true. As crazy as it sounds, this this is this is happening. Somehow it's happening. They come through the ceiling. They come through the wall. And she's got pictures of them. And I've posted them before. I don't know if you guys saw them, but I and you can see the images of the grays that are all around her bed. Oh wow! And uh, so anyway, I'm going to go to her house. She's already given me permission to go to her house and, and meet and talk to her and her two sons. And they've been uh, she's been an abductee for like 30 years. And she's going to let me take pictures and, and interview her, and then maybe if she's comfortable, I'll, uh, I'll 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 try to time it so that it's during the night of a Friday or Saturday, and I'll just call in with her right there with me. Oh, and that'd we be can neat. talk to her. Wouldn't that be awesome? Are you going to the UFO Congress? Yeah, I am. The one in the one in Phoenix. Yeah, I, I, anybody uh, got a room for me? I'll you know I'll kick them down something. Just uh, I mean, we, I already booked a room in a hotel, like hundred thirty dollars a night. But if somebody's got a better deal, I'm, I'm game. Oh, I might. I don't know. I have to ask. Yeah. Oh, how? It doesn't have to be every night. It could even be for like a few nights or whatever. But I am oh, gonna yeah. go for sure. Jeff and I. It don't going. have to be a long time. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, baby. It's good night from the Monster Castle Paranormal. Oh yeah. not know i'm actually building my own house that i gotta sell because i'm moving here by the end of february i just thought you might be on the woods in the trailer i just wanted to know but so you're in a like an apartment or a house something like that right now no all i've got now here on my land is a is a garage 
which I actually live so in right now. So where do you now. live? Where does your wife and your kids and you live? Man, I'm a single guy. I ain't got no <laughs> wife and kids. I got a damn little fucking freaking Pomeranian dog, okay. and that's what keeps me company. Do you but no, I started, bu- I started building a house here. It's but, a uh, garage. I, I, a garage. So you I live in a, a garage. Yeah, I have a deathly ill parent that I have to move up to Juneau to, uh, yeah. with my brother to help take care of. Wow. So I won't be able to finish what I started here, which kind of yeah. sucks. Wow. But, but so you have, you're able to live in a garage with a refrigerator and washing the pot. So, Wolfman, shut off the music. What do you mean? I'm putting you into the fourth dimension, man. Too loud. It's the fourth dimension. It's too loud. We're talking. I'm going to be into my Willie, bro. He's going to be my best friend one day. Watch. <laughs> Kurt, I always loved you, man. I don't know why you, I don't know why you dislike me so much other than my potty mouth. But I think you drop oh, you're Ralph just a mess. and the audious mouth girl in the freaking town comes here, Debbie. Oh, she is That's a potty girl. mouth, huh? Dang. Oh, she's a potty is mouth. She there? She's got Still kids. Debbie? No. No. Dang. That no. was cool. What a great night. All just a random, real time, just stuff. Just no, shoot no the ball. Now. That, that was an awesome, awesome fucking night. What a great man. um Kurt had me uh, dying tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. I almost wet myself. Actually, Willie, Willy, you made me laugh the most of anyone. But uh, <laughs> everyone made me laugh. Uh, angry old man. Debbie, too. She was really funny. <laughs> Willie must have, his girl must have left him or something. He's pent up and angry and want to say the F word. But well, you got, I think he's got you, you nailed there, Willie. <laughs> oh, hey, Willie, I got a commercial for you. Oh, yeah, buddy. No. Yeah, you like this. You like this. He'll curse. <laughs> you like this commercial. Cushion EJ. Does your cassette mechanism make a terrible sound like this when you open it? <laughs> well, we got something better for you. We got Cushion Eject today. We could get something. You could, your tape deck will come out. It won't sound like this. It won't make any funny sounds like that when it pops out. It will be slow and smooth. Cushion eject is the best. It needs something with the word fuck in it. Mechanisms <laughs> for any tape cassette. And we can install Cushion Eject today. Use call KTEL. KTEL International. All right. KTEL.com. Slash Cushion Eject. All right. Cushion Eject. More cushion for the pushing, baby. Yeah. More cushions for the cushions with cushion eject. All right. Terrible example. Fun. This is fun to fucking commercial. Yes, sir. So you have to know the history behind it, Kurt, to understand uh, the humor. Oh, uh, okay. Fun. I didn't know him until I didn't know you all till recent. Hello. How do oh, you no. do? Oh no, that uh, probably upset Wolf Willie. Man? Yeah, you hate me now. You son of a bitch. He loves it. <laughs> what, what the fuck is your problem? I told you I pour my fucking heart out about the freaking heart out about the damn cushion ejector. That shit. Oh, really? When my sister my sister stood over my shoulder when I when I showed up my boom box. About as bad I threw the cardboard as... down. And she yeah, saw me getting mocked. That 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 played into her as a grown woman. Make her want to be a fucking freaking stripper later on in life. And you're going to mock that. It all comes back to freaking cushiony jet. And I'm glad you get your freaking jollies out of it, you bastard. That shit, what, that, he that and my parents' divorce. Biggest thing, biggest freaking thing that happened in my watch the young man's life. And my sister was a sponge. She's <laughs> young enough. She saw me getting like- mocked. She, she lost respect for men. So she wanted their money. That's he what made her what she is now. Up. And and you're gonna I laugh about it? Screw you, Wolfman. Lord Screw you. 
Oh, it's all right. Oh. Really. No, it's funny, man. Come on. Cushion eject is funny. It's more cushion for the pushing. He would. Oh. It is funny. So it's, it's a not, tribute, it's a funny tribute to you, Willie. Willie that shit in, almost uh, ruined my life. Man. And you're making freaking fun of it. All right. Well, you better take it lightly because otherwise it's going to drive you nuts, man. My goodness, Willie. Settle down more. I didn't even more. think of it. <laughs> I didn't even think of the cushiony jet think about until what your I called in this, this shit show. You go back to church. Yeah. Cushion eject is a part of our show now. That's uh, just wrong. That's just fucking wrong. Freaking wrong. I'm sorry, Kurt. You do Freaking better. wrong. You think better. Uh, yeah. you thinking so negative and evil. Do you understand me? You're all your greats and your grandparents and your mother and father and all your relatives. They taught you better. And you quit thinking so evil all the time and thinking so negative, cursing every other word. You think about your grandma. And all your grandmas and all your great aunts that you love so much and your great grandparents and you think about those moments when you were with them and what they taught you and you quit hollering out a bunch of fuck 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 <laughs> on this air today you think about truth and life on this earth and my lord rain and you better straighten up boy and you need to go to bed now. Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> and, 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 and. Fuck you, Kirk. And, and nothing else. Freaking wolf, and man. nothing else. I don't, I don't have to think about my grandmothers and right shit. There? I had and parents. nothing else. For fuck's sake. Fuck you, Kurt. Wow. Fucking think about my great, great grandmother. Wow. Fuck you. Just a I sleep with a dog. <laughs> You're an I gotta wake up happy. Or else I'll fucking throw my brains out. You were the runts. You... Oh. You were the runt and survived. Oh my. Can't <laughs> I wasn't a runt. Come on. Yeah, you're, you're insane. You, reli you religious bastards oh, are the first ones that tell someone up. that they're going oh, to hell. Oh, fuck oh, fuck yeah. you. Oh. <laughs> You're pathetic. Willie uh, killed Patrick Swayze. That's a shame, <laughs> Willie. <laughs> well, I've Just never. Met it. <laughs> you Willie. Willie. Oh. How can he be responsible Patrick for Patrick Swayze? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm going to have to defend <laughs> Willie on this one. I don't think well, he killed Willie. Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Yeah, I need, I need, I need Willie, mine on. Not this Willie, but the Willie on the show. But well, why are you taking it all out on my buddy Willie about killing I'm Patrick not, Swayze? I'm just saying the coincidence, you know. <laughs> you just gotta say the only man in all TV history that is Willie okay. that killed right. Patrick Swayze. There's no uh, other Willie throughout all. Find another Willie and Willie <laughs> just shot him no, dead. Uh, you know what? His wallet. <laughs> I'll bet you Willie That's strangled fun. that Patrick Swayze with his Willie. We weren't hearing that anymore. <laughs> I gotta just hear myself. Well, I got somebody on close enough to him. Maybe I could have taken him out, but I, I, I gotta be honest. I can hear myself. I, I now. Okay, let's turn this down. Okay, check, check, check. All right, we're live. Yeah, dig it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, Friday, October the 5th. It is 1. 50, it was just 1547, it was just 14747, just a second ago before that. Was, that is not what it is right now. This is MCP Radio. Coming for you live 24-7, this is the Wolfman. Okay, I'm going to try to turn up some sure. shit here. We're going to try this, see if uh, my buddy's going to jump in here. I can't see, though. Hang on a second. I'll be right back, folks. I cannot see. Is Willie and ghosts and no, there's Willie I'm Wonka. sorry, Willie, that you there's have to. Willy Wonka, there's Willie the Whale and Free no. Willie. Oh, Free Willie. Will. No, that's not. Oh, yeah, that's he, like He's that. not free, yeah. though. Willie charges 20 bucks an hour, that whale. <laughs> that, whale that whale was a murdering bastard. <laughs> oh, yeah, and it murdered its, its uh, keepers. 
Yeah. The Willie so I, is I think three of them killer. actually killed three of three of the uh the whale keepers. Uh mm-hmm. yeah. Not with, not that way. Yeah, yes, the, it the, did. The next the <laughs> next movie shouldn't be uh free Willie, it should be uh execute Willie. Yeah, electrocute <laughs> Willie. <laughs> Okay, here but we go. But my point is that Willie, right now, live, real time, he upset and fuck you, fucking, fucking, fuck you, and all fucking. Okay, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put underwater whale sounds. Here we go, underwater whale sounds. And now we're gonna electrocute Willie. We are gonna electrocute. Execute, execute Willie. Yep, yeah, electrocute the whale. Yep. Yep. There, he's gone. I wouldn't like to hurt him any more. Patrick's yeah. It's just uh, a you know, coincidence that somebody's so angry. You know, just I'm not saying he did it, but it just he, he could have done it. No, he uh, did. He, the, the the whale killed three people. Oh. Keiko didn't kill anybody. Well, come on. Oh. All the killer whales, they're not even telling you. Have you ever seen that movie? Um, I was saying just to hold on. I think it's Blackwater Black Down or something. It, uh, or it, it's, oh, it tells you everything, all the, the abuse that they put those whales through. These places like SeaWorld, well they, they really abuse yeah. those animals. And they're tormented to the point where they do want to kill... The trainers, yeah, and they've but killed. Well, and they, they just keep killing the trainers. Like well, you, you, you know, can you only. Do you know the story of Keiko? They, the, the whale in, in Free Willy was in uh, the Newport Aquarium, and then they saved a whole bunch of money from the movie to release him into the wild. And they released him into the wild, and he died within a year. Yeah, but still, dude, at least it was free. Free of the torment of its trainer. They are not meant to be in captivity like that. Like, like Willie? Well, yeah. uh, all I can say I, I is, cannot, yeah, just like say. Willie. You wouldn't want to put him in a fucking cage either. Or me. Or are you well, going to have trouble? Kurt, Kurt's, tr- Kurt's trying to get me in fucking jail here for killing Patrick Swayze. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. No one. <laughs> I'm just. I was trying to make an example of. Um, you have. Um, oh Lord God, help me now. Anger issues. No, Patrick Crazy. But how dare you, Kurt, accuse Willie of drinking too much when you, sir, have been so fucking drunk on my show, and so have I. <laughs> that we couldn't even finish the show and I fell down with my head on the fucking board oh, you and you and I were head? so drunk that night. <laughs> and then tell yeah. Willie that, that he's too drunk. Well, he's Thank just... You, old man. You know, say, when you get to... Because when I get drunk, I start saying an F word. And so I'm not that drunk tonight. So he's fucking fuck, 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 fuck. And I'm like, you need to go to bed. You know, you need to. But then, Willie, uh, my point was about Willie and um, uh, Ghost. So, Willie, fucking, fuck, fuck, fuck you, fuck all fucks, and all the fucks of all fucks. <laughs> That's all you want to <laughs> And then, um, um, Ghost and... <laughs> Willie, on that, all negative. It just boom, 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 kill. It turned out positive because of all of the story, but negative. Willie, negative. Willie, negative. Fuck, 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 fuck. What was the other Willie that was negative? But just. He got, e- he got eaten by the, the bad black ghost. Yeah, Willie, um, Willie, uh, um, but just, I just think of things deeper. I close my eyes a lot, 
and when I dream and sleep, I think of the earth. And my Lord, I know him deep in our hands. And the planets. And they spin in. And I know there's a certain other solar. And I just feel the sky. Wheels with the wheels. My Lord, John Kitten. There's ways in the sky. So, I saw the top. And they were We have a Billy wheels in the sky. They're skilled. I can replace it. Oh, Matt, 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 Billy here tonight. What? Fuck it, fuck, fuck you, and fuck all, fuck you. And fuck me too. All, oh. all. <laughs> Once you fuck me, you ain't gonna no go back to women, eh, Kurt? Matt, I'll tell you right now. Once you fuck me or Willie, you ain't gonna go back to women, eh? Was a stale. So, I just think that everything works. Like Romans 8.28, all things work for the good. Everything's in sync, right in time, boom. We're in the universe. We're spinning on a ball. We're not in our mansion or in our recording studio. Close. We're on a ball. Hey, Willie. Hey, Dean. Mm-hmm. Hey, Willie. Straight. Hey, Willie. Did you hear? Did you hear how that I referenced you in that interview? Did you notice that I referenced you on your what, theory on, on uh, with with Dave Scott? I referenced you, and yeah. I, I mentioned yeah. that uh, about your theory about uh, everything being like a hologram matrix. I I I, I must. You might be right. He did. I, I think there's validity to that, Wolfman. I really do. Well, that's I why I mentioned that. it. That's why I mentioned it. I thought it was a valid mention. Oh, I get it. That yeah, your your sorry, point that was well right. taken, and I, I brought it up. Well, if you didn't hear the whole show, how can you criticize it? Shut up. What's that? Yeah. Everyone shut up. You should hold, listen you to the whole hold. show. It was well, I, I, I didn't even know I didn't know he was on there until I got a message from you, Darren. And and I I mean I'm four or five hours behind whatever it is at Wolfman's, and I'm an hour I'm an hour earlier than than you are, Darren. So you cut me time's off. not always the same. Well, we sure got a lot of uh, of new uh, followers and and listeners and stuff. Yeah, uh, it was people, actually people pretty like positive overall. Five. I, I got, uh, dude. I have. Oh, I, I can't even keep up with the Twitter. And my God. all the followers How, how following be me. You because, came out like a freaking fruit bowl. You sound like a it, dude. How, how okay? Are you, how are you going to get a crazy person on your show when the fucking host is crazier than the guy that they're bringing on? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I agree and with my that. Cut off. No, uh, you're here. but still, you know, I, all I'm doing is telling people what I saw, and he's trying to tell people what he saw. Oh. So uh, we needed a skeptic, skeptic like you, or Kurt uh, oh. is a little bit skeptic like you, but he's a little nicer though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was it was a disappointment, and it was an embarrassment, and it made me sad. The little parts yeah. I heard of that, I was like. Fuck wolf man. You I know, can just picture you. I, I got lots like of skeptics. Boy. I could get a hole on here. Or lots of people oh. on here. And you and Kurt are my two skeptics, basically, that I, I have on my show. And I really need you guys on here to kick us in the ass and tell us what the fuck. What the fuck? Well, that was I, I really appreciate that because I can't see it that way. I don't look at it that no, way. Issues. You couldn't. You were being basically mentally abused by the host, just like the oh. Catholic priests do to the little altar boys. He was paying <laughs> you. He would say, hey, you want to do this. You saw that. You're like, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir, I did. Yes, sir, I'll tell you anything I want. He sounded like a little bitch. You fucking need some balls, Wolfman. You say you're running a show? You ain't running shit, man. You sounded fucking pathetic. 
Dude, you sound I, like really, you literally sound like really, a fucking I could have shit all, all over his show. Weird. I had sound effects at my fucking fingertips. You have no idea. I could have talked like he's playing no, now. I could have fa- talked playing. like Father Sarducci. Well, I next, I could, next I, time I, this, you know what show. I wanted to do? This is what I wanted to do on Dave's show, but he wouldn't let me. Um, uh, this is a f- Father Guido Sard- Sarducci. I'm uh, reporting from uh, the Vatican, and uh, uh, I just have to tell you the new uh, developments that it w- the Vatican has it done. And now uh, we have I, now mounted a audio horns check, audio on check, our audio Lucifer uh, um, a telescope, and uh, it's not a really a telescope. I'm going to tell you, it's actually a particle of beam weapon yes, that we used to shoot it down. Sometimes we pump, uh, pump in these things that fall shit. And, and yeah, the fucking the aliens, the where do we get them down man. here? We you know these are fucking aliens? These are fucking aliens. You know them? Does anybody know about these are fucking aliens? Just a minute here. I thought of somebody was there. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't turn you up. Uh, maybe you're hearing me now. Uh, these are fucking aliens and the fucking aliens and the fucking aliens. Uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, uh, Mike. Yeah, there you go. Both yeah, men. There you Audio go. Check. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Oh. You should be able to hear me now. Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hey. So we're good to go. What the fuck? Yeah, man. I can hear you. We're on the What's air. What's going on, man? Uh, not much, buddy. Uh, a lot of shit, but everything's good. Uh, well, we're not going to talk about that shit. Uh, we're thinking uh, about how, how you would break someone's leg if they piss you off. Oh, how to break someone's leg if they piss you off? Yeah. <clears throat> it's called leverage. And again, it's called using their weight against them. And you have to, what you have to do, <clears throat> what nice. you have to do. Okay. Well, is, might have to do it. <laughs> what you got to do is you got to drop them as their weight is coming down and you, and you buckle the, 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 the <laughs> joint, whatever, ankle or knee, whatever you want, head, whatever. Um, and add yours too. Find that, you know, like that joint, that weak, weak yeah. spot, right? And then just, um, you know, again, uh, carry on that momentum. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it's, yeah, it's broken. <laughs> yeah. Dom and Doms. I just tried tweeting something. I'm talking to you. I probably fucked it up really bad. But either that or I just advertised this. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta say, every time I look, uh, there's people fucking retweeting or liking, and I don't even know who they are. So I just follow them. If they like me, they and like you. That's pretty cool. Marcus Alrighties is there, dude. Do you remember Marcus? In Twitter, right man, now, Marcus. Yeah, man. Yeah. And you remember Secular Order, Joe Seth, the, the guy that got really mad one time, the, the atheist? You were arguing with him, you and, and, and remember? And, and it was actually your adversary, Joe, and you that were arguing with him, really got him going. And it, you know, he really lost it, but it was fucking so funny, man. And he's coming back. Yeah, tomorrow night, man. And he's not gonna. He's not gonna argue. He's he's been doing paranormal studies and shit. It's gonna be good. So and Doctor Bristle, he's been uh, liking and all kinds of shit. All oh my god, we've got all kinds of people just following us, man. Since I've been doing this twenty four seven shit. So yeah, we're getting some major attention. I've got all kinds of listeners, dude. It's crazy. It's. I, I actually know for a fact there's over 100 people listening to us right now. Over 100. 
That's pretty good. And when I just started this shit. You know, uh, that's what happens when, you know, what what do you call that shit when when you drop a crystal in in a glass of of water and it grows? Yeah, yeah, you start with it grows. So, yeah, you know, I can just turn the radio feedback up. I did, uh, but I didn't. Elvis. But but you. The fuck you you mean? I did. Shut up, Willie. Yeah, see? I can shut him up anytime I want. Oh, you didn't hear that. Sorry. Here you go. No, I didn't. I am comedy paranormal. You You got to get it right. Get it right. You're you're expecting my show to be uh, something that it's not. My show is a comedy paranormal. Yeah, it's not real. Now, we have serious moments in the show. But not now. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no applause. Just uh, throw money, please. Just, just throw money. <laughs> get it? No, oh, I didn't get it. Shut up. That's I what we're... Shut up. I got him to shut up, man. Bookies! Yeah. Oh, Cookie Mouse, we don't need you either. <laughs> Can you hear that? These people are laughing at us, Dennis. We're on the air with Moz Casperno. This is Dennis Dyke, the wizard master, the dream master. I just refer me to as dream master. People refer me to as a wizard, but you know, if I have to go by any label. What, why do you need a, a label like Campbell Soup, Ladle? It's like the fucking. I yeah. take you as that kind of a commercial guy. Are you trying to be a commercial guy and come off and have commercial on my show or something? I know, man. It's like you fucking, you got a, you got a bowl of, uh, you got a pot of alphabet soup. All right, right? I'll put. That- okay, put it this way: you can have an alphabet soup commercial on my show as long as you say the word "fucking" about six times in the commercial. Then I'll put it on the air. Fuck's sake, I'm gonna fucking make a fucking alphabet fucking soup. Grab that fucking ladle. I'm gonna fucking dip that shit in there. All right? And whatever the fuck comes out, comes the fuck out. All right? And now, yeah. so if it pulls a fucking wizard or pulls a fucking clairvoyant, or if it pulls out fucking a sensitive or an intuitive, or whatever the fuck it fucking pulls the fuck out. Or fucking a fucking a fucking, though. Fuck, man. I don't and give I do a this fuck. myself. So sometimes I say a fucking, a fucking, a fucking, and so many times it's a fucking it's stupid. Fuck, man. What the fuck? Yeah, like, fuck. It's a commercial about a soup. So fuck off. Eat the fucking soup, all right? It's a Campbell's a fucking a soup. Eat the fucking the fuck shit. Fucking you what don't the like it? I you? slap you in the face. The mama made the fucking a soup. So fuck off. You eat the fucking a soup. That's all. What the fuck do you want? Yeah. You're Eat fuck. the fucking super. I smack your head. Fuck's sake. It's just fucking vegetable fucking soup, man. Yeah. So what's wrong? You don't like a paranormal ghost stories? Eat the fucking soup. <laughs> you know? What the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, we're crazy. I'm sorry, folks. We do paranormal, but right now we're just fucked up. Oh, man. What did we do to ourselves? How did we get here? What are we? We born, we live, we die. Hi, man. We born, we live, we die. That's all I, I got to get know. out of here. I got to get out of here. Remember what Alice Cooper said? I got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Please. Oh, yeah, man. I got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I gotta get outta here. You could be alright. At the end of the day, everything could be alright. Because you know what? You're gonna die. That's the best that's the best part of living is dying. <laughs> yep. Straight up, man. Mm-hmm. Oh man. So everybody where's Apocalypse? Where's everybody? What the fuck? Uh come on, guys. What the fuck? 
And APOC, where are you, bro? I'm going to put APOC in a question mark. Marijuana Mama's in. What is in uh, fucking peas? Okay. Um, I think I got her hooked yeah. up. Should be able to hear. Marijuana Mama, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, I think she's yeah, there. Yeah, that's her, though. She's a little quiet, but she's here. Yeah, I'm not speaking in the microphone. It's okay. I ain't either, but that's good enough. We don't have to be super loud tonight. We don't have to be. There's something going on. That's all right. Is Dennis here? Dennis! We got Discord, so I'm not sure who all is going to come in. But yeah, right now, it just looks like us. Cool. Dennis was there. Oh. Good. Oh, man. I don't get some of this stuff in, in here. Right, anyway, fuck. It was Wolfman's birthday <sighs> yesterday, October 4th. Bookies! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get a cake, but I, I like what I got. I can't, I can't tell you what I got. Ow! I like that. <laughs> I got that. I got one of those. Dang. What should we do next? I have an idea. I actually have a great idea. This is going to be wicked. You're going to love this. My fans are going to dig this. Because they haven't heard this shit for a long fucking time. Oh, yeah. I'm going to find something really cool. Oh, yeah. This is going to dig, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, we we'll actually shut that off. Yeah. Yeah. Stop this. It is stopped. And then Wolfman's gonna do something crazy. He's gonna go do something nuts, fucking crazy, crazy. I wonder if that works. Hmm. How come we can't hear that? Oh, I know why. Fucking right. I'm pretty smart. Look at that. I, I did that. Ooh, man, I'm good. Okay, here we go. Now you want to show? <coughs> show. Where it says show here. <coughs> Now, I need to be muted as soon as it begins. Okay, here we go. Dig this one. <coughs> I think you guys will remember this shit. This hey, that, that gives me a chance to for my trinity, man. Oh, fuck oh, yeah. Trinity. You're going to remember this. You're going to remember these. <laughs> You're going to love this. Remember, I, I was so dumb and I cut it off last time. This time we're going to get to hear the fucking whole song. All right, kid, you dig it. Monster Castle Paranormal. This is the B-52s. Planet Claire. <laughs> yeah. We're going outer space, ladies and gentlemen. Outer fucking space.
freshman year because uh, I was just horribly uh, tight. Grammarly is like my secret
Fuck everything.